Are there parents, dads, moms, dads out there who's lost a child? Raise your hand. Uh, I, I didn't expect this, but um, this is the 45th anniversary of the assassination and death of uh, Dr. King. And I'll paraphrase, paraphrase a quote uh, that he said. He says, there's nothing more dangerous in all the world than sincere ignorance and stupidity. He went on to say that you have the moral obligation to be intelligent. And I also say that we also have the moral obligation to live with civility as a civilized community, as a civilized nation, as a civilized country, because the young men that are continuing to slaughter each other, it is not right, it is devastating, it uh, brings down a neighborhood, it brings down a community. Um, a shocking. Remember when she lost heaven, and I, I know what she's going through. I just talked with Donna last night. She uh, lost her son Marshall in January of this year. And there are a lot of parents, the Bosleys, they lost Terrell April 4th, 2006. 2006. Lost my son 2007. You all, this is about remembering and doing the work in honor of the children that have been lost. I'm talking about children on both sides of the violence. Even if they were out there hustling, as they say, even if they were, and knowing that uh, a lot of our children were innocent as well, we are still losing. We are losing entire communities, entire nations. Who's gonna carry that baton for us? So just in honor of this day, being what it is, honoring Dr. King and honoring the children that we have uh, lost, uh, you all, we must continue to work together as a collective body, as a community, to really stop this violence. We have to remain visible, vigilant, and vocal against all acts of right. violence. Right. Thank you.